Okay, y'all, I am doing a quick video here. I want to show y'all an easy way to capture game. I want to show you an easy way to capture game game without doing anything. I like say if you have trouble with the OBS or any of the other methods. If you want to watch what I'm doing, my camera icon here. This is the regular camera that comes with the Windows. Now, you see that is automatic, but what you would do is, you would, like say if it was in your webcam, and mine has a cover over it, but you would hit this little icon over here in the corner, and it will give you the set. I'm having internet trouble. But anyway, my PlayStation isn't connecting. But then you would go over here. I see I've got mine set at 480, 60, 43. Because that's easy for me to upload. You can go all through these options here, depending on what your computer has. You can go all the way up to 1080, 767, 20, 1200, 960, 768, 600. See, so you got different options here. I stick, I'm sticking with the 43, 480, 60 frames, because that does pretty well with gaming. But as you can see, you can pretty much now it records I'm going to show you now my audio to the camera was probably plugged up to the um, no it isn't so it's probably picking up my voice right now or it may be picking up the game if you want to just easy capture gameplay it's as simple as that and somehow the reason that I'm running out of storage Easy game capture. I don't know what that recorded like. I will see later when I'm through with the video. My computer runs. Let's close that. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. I don't know what's going on with my Wi-Fi. Let me get that camera option again. I don't know what's going on with my Wi-Fi and my PlayStation. I don't understand why it didn't save the video at the bottom there. Let's record it again. Let's just go back. I'll record a new one. Because I want to show y'all that it does work. And I guess if you wanted it to look better, let's go ahead for demonstration purposes. I set that to minus three. I'm not sure whether that's right, accurate or not. That's the brightness. I'm going to go ahead and change it to full 1080. Let's see what it looks like in full 1080. Now the thing is, you hog up GBs with this. That's 30 frames. Does it not have the 60 for 1080? It must not have 60 for 1080. Let's go to 720. 60 for frames. Let's see what that records like, baby. Because you can easily get a recording of this. You can also do this on the Apple. You use the uh, Apple recorder, whatever it's called in the, uh, what's that Apple recorder called? In the old one. I don't know how you would do it in the old newer ones. I've got a Lion. So, System Lion, you use the, um, what's that called? QuickTime. QuickTime. So, we're going to let 30 something seconds there. I like the full screen, but it takes longer for me to upload. So, I'm going to keep mine at 4. 80 and 30 frames and then the reduce 
See, it just keeps disconnecting. I don't know what's causing that. I don't know what's causing it, y'all. Done it all day long. Right now, I'm not playing any online games, so it doesn't matter. Let's give it time to refresh. Then we're going to watch it just to see what it plays like. See, now you got a full screen picture here. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's recording the audio from the tournament. Alright, I get it full screen. Oh, it's trying to connect to my voice. They see there? Easy recording. You don't even have to just plug and play. And of course, you have to flip this thing over here. You have to switch between your webcam and your source. So they have an easy recording of your gameplay. I hope this video helps. And if it helps, like it and share it.